Welcome to Fear and Board Games, a special Halloween episode. We usually don't like to get political on this show, but whether you're on the left or the right, the idea of a Donald Trump presidency should strike fear into your heart. That's why we're playing Trump the Board Game. All right, listen up, you dummies. Play my game right. Remember, there can only be one winner and three losers. The point is not whether you win or lose. I'm not listening to you because of your gender. <laughs> it makes a strong point. You don't want to be a loser like, like that dumb war hero John McCain or the sleepy Dr. Ben Carson. He's a bit sleepy. Every time I hear him speak, I immediately pass out and hit my head on the coffee table. I pay someone $1,000 to talk louder than him. Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> All right, tonight I'm dressed as Donald Trump. We've got the road warrior here. We've got... Rosie the Riveter. Rosie the Riveter, famous feminist icon. Yeah. And what do we have here? I'm a sexy box. Nice. How are you going to play the game, though? Oh. I came prepared. <laughs> Those are beer drinking hands. Right. Yeah. And board game in hands. Yeah. It's that time of year, so it's time to harvest the crops and drink the ale. Harvest ale from founders, wet hopped ale. What does wet hopped mean? It means that the hops were wet. This was bottled on 9.30. Ooh, never forget. Oh, that's... 76% alcohol? <laughs> I doubt it. So it's a beautiful golden color. Just like a harvested field of wheat. Big time grapefruit off this. Yeah. Yeah! Is there a knife? There's a knife on the bottle opener. Wow. Oh! Look, look, this is for like r precision knifing. You know, like you got the, <laughs> you got the, the okay. Ben Carson, you know, cause he's a surgeon. Get it? Maybe Ben Carson would, would appreciate that. And he'd be like, I really <laughs> like the knife. <laughs> it's very helpful. And then he laughs a little at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it was possible for a man to have less charisma than Scott Walker until I met Dr. Ben Carson. <laughs> he just comes out and he just starts talking about things and you're just not even paying any attention. It's like white noise. Or like maybe like a whale machine. A whale machine? A oh, whale. One of those machines machine. that makes whales. Wait, that's... Turn it off. <laughs> that's what you're dressed as. A whale, a whale machine. machine. A whale machine. <laughs> Write that on his box. When you go to beerandboard.com slash beer pass, you can get all sorts of rewards. One of them, you can have us name a playing piece after you or a friend in the show, in the game that we're playing. <laughs> That's just what Lori Elliott wants for her husband, Sam Nichols. Oh. They were recently married on September 12th, 2015. His birthday is October 25th. Wow, congratulations and happy to your birthday. I think we should name one of these properties after I Sam. Think, yeah. What about that boat? The Sam Nichols Convention Center. Yeah, okay. a lot of cool nice. shit can take place at the Sam Nichols Convention Center. You yep. can have like a wellness expo there. You could have <laughs> a, youth chili a horse cook -off. expo, a youth chili cook-off. There are lots of things that could happen at it, a convention center. It, it, Sam Nichols. I heard marriage is good. Is this true, you guys? Mostly. It's true, you did hear that. Yeah. Interesting point you bring up. Deb and Whitney are married. What? For the health insurance. Yeah. We each need $400 million. I have also dealt out five trump cards. What's the goal of this game, Matt? The goal is to make the most money at the end of the game. I already have 400 million. I don't really want yeah, it. Yeah, what's the, what? You gotta make more. You gotta buy properties and you have to wheel and deal. And you try and take this 400 million and turn it into a respectable fortune. How much is that? 500 million? <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of your turn, you draw a card. Then you do one of the following. You either play a card from your hand or you roll the dice and move. We're gonna be in the buying phase until all the properties have been bought by someone. Then we'll enter into the dealing phase. Now, this is important. If you forget to draw your card at the beginning of the turn, then you don't get one. You got okay. trumped. Okay, so why don't I go first? Okay, oh, I why see not? how it is. Because Trump. Great. <laughs> why don't you go first? No, you go first. You're, you're afraid because you're a woman? <laughs> I don't want to go first. Women are first. naturally afraid. I'm sorry to say, but it's true. And it's a known fact that Rosie the Riveter is a myth like Bigfoot. <laughs> She doesn't exist. Endless possibilities. Oh no, I forgot to draw my card. Yeah, you uh, did. I was oh, oh, in. You I got did. trumped. I trumped myself. Add 30 million to any unowned property. I'm gonna put this $30 million 
in the Sam Nichols Convention Center. It's a solid choice, Trump. You're gonna wanna keep track of which properties have the most money in them, because at the end of mm -hmm. the game, if you have that property, you get that money. Um, I'm gonna draw a card. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was suspense. But 30 million in any property. I wanna go 30 million on the Ken Tucker's Convention Center. What's his name? Ken Tucker. Mike Nickel. Nichols. Sam Nichols. Sam, Sam Nichols. Nichol. 30 million on the Sam Nichols Convention Center. That convention that center is quite a hot property. <laughs> Sam Nichols is kinda like Sam Shepard, but with Nichols. Donald Trump's signature doesn't look like it says Donald Trump. It looks like it says Donald Shrimp. Or Donald Dummy. It's a D and a Y and a bunch of M's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I was born Donald Dummy. Sometimes I still <laughs> sign my name like that. I forget. When I became a wheeler dealer, I said that's not, not a name for a winner. So I changed it to Donald Trump. Then people started calling me Donald Chump, and I said, oh, no, I can't win. T, I got a T. What does that even mean? When you roll the T, you get to steal a card from any other player. And you get to roll again. I'll steal one from you. Okay. Do it. Force the sale of any property. Convention center. Now we bid on it, yeah? 10, do I hear, do I hear 20 million? You decide what your opening bid is going to be and you keep it secret. So on a count of three, put your opening bid out on the table for all to see. <laughs> I counted to three silently, apparently. <laughs> One, two, three. 50 million. You are the bidding leader. So then bidding goes to me and I decide if I want to top your bid. If I don't, then I pass. If everyone passes, then you get the property. Five, bada, 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 hundred million. I will bid 110 million. <gasps> I'm gonna jump it to 150. 200 wow. million, and let me tell Holy you why. Lee. I love you, Sam Nichols. I'm gonna make you out of the bidding. Ah, you're fired. Back in the bidding. Suck on it. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Rehired. You're out of the bidding. I fired. Can I play another card? Yes. <laughs> yeah, bluffing. I will go 170. I'm out. You're out of the bidding. Oh, shit. You thought I was, except that one. You're I'm out of the bidding. Oh, Man, shit. you have a lot of those. Damn it, Matt. And the Sam Nichols Convention Center goes to me. Nice. Donald Gummy. Oh, what a time. I'm loving the Trump game. Ooh, wonderful. Oh. One. At $50 million. $50 Casino. I'm going to start propping up the cruise line a little more, please. Slide it in, Just whale machine. it right in. Please, you two, no pillow talk on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to force the sale. All right, another auction. Of yes. Sam Nichols Convention Center. Son of a... Budget! She can do that. It's any Force property. It. But now Force whoever it. buys it, the money goes to me. If I win, let's say I pay $100 million and I win, I have to put the money inside the convention center. Oh, wow. You have to reinvest. Go! 30 mil. <laughs> Check that out, 150 mil. Okay, I got an outside investor, 30 million, and then I'll put in 60 million of my own money, so that's 190. Uh, no, I'm out. That's a pass. Yeah. I'm going, you scared me back to my hole. What are you gonna do, old trippity Trump? Trumples. The current bid is 200. 200? I'm gonna let you have it. Nice. <laughs> wow. I just, Trumple I, Stiltskin. I Casting a spell. Trumple Stiltskin. <laughs> Trumple That's brilliant. Stiltskin. I'm gonna come back and take your firstborn. And then when she gets to be of age, of sexual attractiveness, I will make inappropriate comments about her to the press. <laughs> but she has to be a 10. She's gotta be a 10 if she's gonna be a Trump. Stiltskin. <laughs> you know who loves Halloween the most of everyone I know is who? probably Baby Cookie. What does she like him? Oh, hi, Baby Cookie. Boo, I'm a witch! I got some trick-or-treating tips for you. Okay. <laughs> Me to set you straight. <laughs> Number one, it's never too late to go out trick or treating. Me, I like to go out at about 2.30 or 3 in the morning after the bars close. <laughs> Sometimes people get upset when you wake them up, but then you just put, you just put a smile on your face and you say, give me the candy, and they, <laughs> and they, they don't mind. Is this the costume you were wearing when you were trick or treating? Is it? Is it? Well, to tell you the truth, Trick or treating is not just a Halloween tradition for me. Is this? I go trick or treating two or three times a month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I go, I go up to my neighbor's house as a pound on the dough, and I say, "Give me what you got." 
<laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I like you. I like your pretty red lips. <laughs> no, don't kiss me. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, she a freak. <laughs> Tip number two. Number two. <laughs> if you find a razor or a blade or some sort of foreign object in your candy, well, you better suck it up and eat that candy. <laughs> Remember, a cut up mouth is temporary, but candy is forever. So wait, you're saying eat razor blades? I ain't throwing that Reese's peanut butter cup away. I'm eating that shits. <laughs> Tip number three. Sometimes you will go up to the porch and you will see a bowl of candy unattended with a sign that says, please take only one. Only one. <laughs> well, you take that sign and throw it in the goddamn gutter. <laughs> you take all that candy. It's a cold, cruel world, bitches. Give me the candy. Cookie out. See you later. Bye, Cookie. Thank Bye, you cookie. for the advice. Maria Roseman wants an insult for Natalia Kostenko. More like Kostinko. Boom! Uh -huh, we already got you. She is one of uh, Maria's closest friends at college, and she's turning 21 on October 28th. They've been watching beer and board games since their freshman year. Maria wants us to mock her for her life choices because she LARPs and she wants to be a knight of the realms. Pretty geeky. We are to tell her to get your own bladder. Quit using your friends. Costencho. Nothing drives boys away more than the phrase Natalia LARPs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kostinky. See you later. See you later. Kostinky! It's a good one. I can't I'm wait. tingly in my Trump when, parts. What are your Trump parts? They're in the box. Trump parts, that's part. We decided that we write it all on there. I'm gonna roll the, the die five times. For every T that I roll, I get to draw a card from any player. Wow. How's that sound? That's a great card. <laughs> one roll, no T. Oh, that's no a, tea. Two. No tea. Yeah, really. No Three tea. rolls. No, no tea. tea. I just no want tea. one tea. You Come ain't got on. No tea. You ain't got no tea. One more roll. Don't sing about it. <laughs> you ain't got no tea. Huh? You, you ain't got, got no tea. tea. What don't you got? You, you ain't, ain't got, got no tea. Tea. <laughs> Ask Donald how he's doing. Donald, how are you doing today? Things have taken a turn for the worse. It seems that my hands have turned into monsters. <laughs> I didn't want it to happen, but it did. Oh God, oh. those are Ted Cruz's hands. But I still oppose the immigration policy of letting monsters come to our country. <laughs> when they come over, they don't send their best and brightest. They send monster rapists. <laughs> Fortunately, Wait. they are monsters that rape other monsters. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I am now part monster. Wow. So I am at risk. Part? <laughs> I don't know how it happened. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You're a stand-up guy. Take that you. wig off. You're no Trump. Maybe you just wear the wig. And nothing else? <laughs> and smile. Take the rest off, Matt. No, that's the, not gonna happen. Let's go. trump this up. The wig and a duck face. That's all we're asking for. The wig and a duck face. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hal Thompson, and on October 30th, I'm having a special live show, hal Oween. There won't be any loud rap music, I swear. There's a block party outside now. Yeah. It's free on October 30th for hal Oween. It's on Blame Society 2. You should join me and all my friends. Sarah Newman wants us to insult her boyfriend. It's his birthday in November, the 27th. Birthdays are fun. They live in Shanghai, China, and love watching our show. Our Midwestern accents and humor remind them of home. Her boyfriend's name is Jamie, and he is a super board game geek. Hey, Jamie, do you have a gun? Well, Steven Tyler might have something to say about that. Yeah, I think your whole world has come undone. <laughs> Jamie had a gun. Every morning I wake up and make two Jamies in the toilet. <laughs> Jamie plays board games because he ain't got no game. <laughs> That's... You got it, man. Wow. We're now in the deal phase. Yeah. So we don't draw any more cards. And we also <laughs> don't roll anymore. It's just dealing. You play cards, oh, you wow. make deals. I would be willing to give you 200 million for your sports complex. I'll straight up do that. Thanks. You're my for favorite. For sure. 
If you own both the sports complex and the casino, collect 90 million. If you own the cruise line and the tropical island, collect 100 million. Don't you want the cruise line? What about the How hotel? About... <laughs> Don't you want it? Oh, I could, I could go for you know what? Don't you that convention want center. the cruise line? Because <laughs> with the hotel and cruise line, I can collect 110 million dollars. He's from Mexico. Somebody's doing the money collecting. He's a monster from Mexico, and he's collecting all the money. With all my hairy hands. <laughs> Capitalism comes with a cost. Just like magic. Airline in the tropical island, collect 90 million. Thank you very much. Mm. It's like Christmas wow. for all of us. That's the end of the game. But 730 million. Yeah, I have 700. I have like 580 million. 570 million. You lost the worst. I only lost by 10 million now. A woman beat Trump? Wow. Impossible. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.